Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another Tarot Tea Time. Cheers to at the end of the week. We made it. And this is going to be just a little sip. I used to do these videos a couple years ago where I was doing like every other day, I would do like a quickie video on one topic. I'm going to put more of those out because those are really fun. And we're going to start with a little sip for this week, talking about the whole controversy that people have been speculating about with Taylor Swift and her friends all posing for Skims campaigns. Now, we're going to start with Sabrina Carpenter. That's really going to be our main focus because Sabrina Carpenter and Taylor Swift obviously have been traveling together with the Eras Tour. They have been spotted together on their own free time. Sabrina came with Taylor to a couple of Chiefs games. They're clearly friends and have a good relationship. And you got to know they're traveling all over the world together forms a bond. So I'm curious to see, is the situation light as a feather or is there something to it? Could there be bad blood brewing? And is Kim Kardashian purposely doing this? Is she just trying to get closer to Taylor? Does she have some sort of weird snake emoji motive? What's going on? I don't know. I put nothing past anyone. So we're going to look into it right now to see the other two people that are close to Taylor that have posed for Skims ads recently, Lana Del Rey, of course, she collaborated with Taylor on a song on Taylor's Grammy winning album and went up on the Grammy stage with Taylor. They also attended the Grammys together, also went to a Chiefs game with Taylor. So they've been spotted pretty close, definitely good friends. And then Brittany Mahomes, a newer but seemingly very good friend as well. And that could have happened before the friendship with Taylor. Who knows? Let's pull some cards. So we're going to focus on Sabrina and we're going to focus on Kim. Okay. So let's see. And Taylor's feelings, of course. Okay. Maybe we're just going to debunk these rumors. Okay. Let's just see if we can put an end to these rumors. Allegedly for entertainment purposes only. What's the tarot tea going on here? Okay. So first, let's just get right to it. How does Taylor Swift feel about Sabrina Carpenter in particular? Posing for Skims ads. I will say the 90s aesthetic of Sabrina's ad, amazing. Love it. I am actually not a fan of that brand, but it almost made me want to buy it. I still won't, but it almost made me. Just because she looks so dang pretty. And I love her makeup. I love her hair. She looks amazing in 90s style. Definitely get your bag. How does Taylor feel about Sabrina Carpenter posing for a Skims ad? <laughs> eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Now the eight of pentacles is about working hard in reverse. This is a little bit of a commentary about not doing the hard work. Okay. So again, for entertainment purposes only con big congratulations to Taylor before we even get into this for being named officially a billionaire on the Forbes billionaire list. So she's doing great. I don't think she's letting much bother her, but again, this was requested. So we must, we must show up. But Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this is about not really working for something. I do think that maybe deep down, and maybe she'd never say, nor, nor should she really. I think deep down she feels like it was a bit of an easy way out, a bit of an easy way to, you know, for Sabrina to make money. I think that maybe she wishes that that wouldn't have happened, just the reversal of that. Eight is also associated with power and abundance. And in the reverse, it's talking about disempowering. So I feel like, you know, I mean, she noticed. I would say she noticed. It's not like she's super angry. Like I said, she's got her own money, her own life. She's successful. But I think that it's a bit of an ick, but not enough to where she would feel comfortable really saying something because at the end of the day, it is about money. You know, in reverse, this also has to do with people who may need to make money because maybe they're not in as abundant of a position. So there is an understanding of that. I think she wishes things were different, but she didn't feel comfortable. Like, I don't think that it was a conversation. I think that she had a boundary, which is good. I think that's healthy. Just being like, well, I guess that's what I just got goosebumps. So confirmation kind of like, oh, well, I guess that's what she needs to do. Okay. Just kind of like, a, all right, what are you going to do? But it wasn't like she was like, oh, this is great. Even if she, you know, maybe said that I think deep down didn't feel great about it. All right. Sabrina, did Sabrina Carpenter feel weird at all? towards Taylor. Uh, did she feel any guilt? Did she feel nervous? Like, how did she feel doing this skims ad knowing that Taylor and Kim have a very complicated history? How did Sabrina feel? <laughs> Not this again. Stop it. You guys, when the tarot tea is just talking, four of pentacles in reverse, also money. But this is Notice when we have Sabrina, it's the four of pentacles in reverse. With Taylor, it's the eight of pentacles position. So even though Taylor's talking about an extra an extra layer that just came in here, 
eight of pentacles in reverse, it's also like, you know, eight is about abundance, like in numerology and power. In reverse, she's also was recognizing that Sabrina isn't in the position that she's in. She's like, you know, she's not in the eight of pentacles. She's in the eight of pentacles reverse position. Like she's still working her way up, which nothing wrong with that. But having that realization of like, maybe, maybe this is something that she needs to do for her bag or whatever. Sabrina, four of pentacles in reverse, this is basically saying confirmation. Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> I only have four pentacles right now. And I'm trying to get to at least, you know, six or seven or eight pentacles. I'd love to be in a better position to where I can maybe be a little more choosy. But right now, I need to do things to get myself to where I want to go. This is also the card of disappointment. You know, when like you're inspired by someone, but you also wish that you were, you know, and you're like, ex you're inspired by someone, you're excited about someone. This is not about women on women like hate. I think that they actually both really respect each other, which is why they've had a boundary about this, regardless of how it may have felt a little icky for Taylor and vice versa. But I think that she felt like, you know, I admire Taylor. I would love to be as successful as she is someday, like financially. And I feel a little bit like this four of pentacles. You know, this person is sitting there on a suitcase, two pentacles at their feet, one in their hands. Like they have money. It's not like they have nothing. They're not like broke, but they're not happy. They look a little disappointed. This is someone who really wants to be in a different position. Also in numerology, the number four is about building the house. The number eight is the abundance that comes after you've built the house. So four is one of the building blocks of eight. So this is also talking about how Sabrina Carpenter is on the right track. She's on the same path as Taylor. All she has to do is keep showing up and putting in the work over time like Taylor did, right? Taylor is 34 and she's gotten there. Sabrina Carpenter, I believe is like 24 or in her twenties, early twenties. So, you know, she sees the path. Sometimes Sabrina gets a little bit discouraged because she wishes that things happened a little bit faster for her. She has been putting out music. I believe she put out music for like five years before this era's tour started. So she really is the type of person who, when people say like, it takes 10 years to make an overnight success, Sabrina Carpenter has been putting in the work. She has been doing it. And I think that she's proud of herself, but she's still in that four phase of a lot of building to do. She's got a lot of work ahead of her. And I think that this is in reverse because I don't think she preferred to do this, but I feel like, you know, it was something that she has to do to feel like she can get over this. It definitely for her career, I don't know how much they paid her, but I would say it had to be a lot because it was part of getting her over this feeling. So it moved her forward financially, basically. So it was a good payday, which is why I think Taylor didn't say anything. Okay, very interesting. Ooh, I got goosebumps, so a lot of confirmation. Because this is a quick sip of tea, we're gonna end this with Kim. What were Kim's intentions? What were Kim's intentions? Inviting Brittany Mahomes, Lana Del Rey, and now Serena Carpenter. Watch Taylor Swift like comes out in a skims ad like in a week. You know Kim would love that. She wants so badly to be taken back into the fold. It was crazy when she was like posing in that purple dress, posted on her story, and it was like to Taylor's song or her friend did it. Anyway. You can tell she wants to be back in Taylor's good graces for sure. What were Kim's intentions, allegedly, for entertainment purposes? Page of Wands. We got, we got so many reverse cards here. This is like a lot of energy of feeling like you, you're doing what you need to do and not really what you, you want to do. A lot of like pushing yourself to do things that you think would be good. Or you're like, this would be good for my career, you know, but you're like kind of going to force yourself. Page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Wands is all about the spark of a new idea. Uh, pages are about the start of a new journey. Wands are passion. So in reverse, it's like she felt like she didn't have, okay, this is kind of wild. It's like she felt like, she was kind of comparing the amount of buzz, passion, energy around her name to the amount of buzz that Taylor was getting like during the NFL season. You know, Taylor was everywhere. And I think that this was kind of the energy of like, well, if you can't beat him, join him. It's like, I need some of that spark. Page of Wands. I need some of that new energy. And in reverse, it's like, I can't get it. Like, Ideally, I think she would have hired Taylor. She's kind of trying to like work the periphery, get in the good graces of Taylor's friends. I definitely think that it does have a lot to do with Taylor, controversial opinion, but I do, because I think ideally she wants there to be a new passionate beginning with Taylor, but there isn't yet. So she's like trying to put it out there. Like, I'm a good person. Like, oh my gosh, I love Taylor. Like, you know, get in the good graces with the friends, have people say, oh my gosh, she said so many nice things about you. 
stuff like that. And then slowly over time, work her way in. And Kim is a Libra. She's dedicated. She just might be able to do it. I don't know. She, she can really, um, Libras can charm their way into just about anything. So we will have to wait and see, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little sip, sip of tea and I'll talk to you guys soon.